Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to Figma Beginner to Master course, a course where you'll learn how to master Figma and become an amazing designer in no time. As usual, you've got your exercise files in the description box below, so feel free to download and follow along. Let's get started. So in today's session, we're going to talk about text. Let's talk about text, baby. Let's talk about, sorry. Anyway, in today's session, we're going to talk about text. Now, text is something that could be really simply done in Figma, but there's one big thing that I need you to leave this session knowing because I hate when people do this. So don't be one of those people. Be a smart person. Be a great designer. Let's just begin by talking about how the design panel looks when we've got a text box selected and how we can change the text properties in Figma. Now, this is very similar to how we did it with shapes. I will link that video somewhere here um for you to go and look at quickly if you haven't seen it yet in my file in your exercise file you will find these two little text box if i click on them i will see a new section that i haven't seen before in my design panel which is the text section and in here we've got really basic things that you will see in any other kind of editing tool or design tool so at the top i can select the font i'm using a font called urbanist but i can just use my arrow keys to swap between fonts i can click on the drop down if you are using the figma app rather than using it online you will also see any fonts that are downloaded onto your computer will just be on here automatically so i'm going to click on urbanist because I like it. Um, and I'm going to go back to that font. Underneath, some fonts will have different kind of font styles to them and weights. They'll have a bold version, a light version, an extra bold version. Not all fonts will have these, okay? Next to it, you will have the font size. And this is a drop down where you've got some preset fonts, but you can also type into it. And top tip, like we said in a previous session, anything that you can type into responds to math. So if I need it to be twice as big, I can just multiply it by two. I'm just going to command Z to bring it back. Underneath, you've got your uh, line height, which if I just change right now, you will see in the bounding box. You see how that grows. That means if I have another word underneath, you will see the spacing between those change. To bring it back to normal, just type in auto into that and it will shrink it down to automatic. The automatic line height is usually 1.5 times the font size but that's a little nerdy tip for you next to that you've got the letter spacing now if you use negative letter spacing it will squish the letters together and if you use a positive one it will just spread them out you can use this to do some really funky stuff and make your designs look really cool um, we will talk about these auto sizings in a second um, you've also got the paragraph spacing um, with paragraph spacing you see how there's spacing between them but if i double click and just highlight this word it's the the letter spacing itself is quite small if i make the letter spacing bigger and then i double click again you see that how that letter spacing changes so that's the difference between letter spacing which affects the actual letters and that's why they space out and uh, paragraph spacing which affects just the paragraph and the spacing between the the lines in it hope that makes sense um, I'm just going to bring this all back down. So if I make my text box a bit bigger, uh, you will see I've got these alignment tools here at the bottom that again, we're familiar with from any other software really. Um, you can align it to the center, align it to the right, to the left, and you can also align it on the vertical scale, aligning to the top, to the middle, or the bottom of the text box. So now we're going to talk about text resizing modes. Now this is what I spoke about at the beginning of the video. This is a massive pet peeve of mine. People really tend to misuse this and don't understand the different functions of it. And it can really cause issues, in, especially in big design files, because it can really mess things up. So have your most focused head on and tune in. So the best way to show you how these different resizing modes act is just to show you a string of text and what happens when I add a few letters onto it using the different resizing modes. So I'm going to zoom in here and you have one of these in your design file as well if you want to play along with it. So I'm going to look at this right now. Our text box is set currently to auto width for its resizing mode. Now that is the default resizing mode for a text box. Little asterisk there that I'll get to in a second. But if you use text boxes correctly, that is the default that they're going to be on. And if you notice on our transform section of our design panel, the width and the height are grayed out, right? So I can't tap on them, can't do anything to them. Figma is basically saying, I'll take care of this, don't worry. You just type, I will change the sizing accordingly. So if I add on the last bit of the alphabet onto here, G -E -V -W -X -Y -N -S -E, you see that it just grew in width. If I 
clicked on enter or return and kept typing, then the height would grow as well. But if I don't do that, it will just keep growing to the side. So that is what auto width does. Next to it, we've got auto height. Now, when I click on auto height, I want you to look at the transform section. Suddenly, I can select the width, yeah? And if I add T U V W X Y Z, this is what happens. Basically, it's telling me, Figma is saying, I'm gonna look after the height according to the text. You tell me what width you want it to stay on and I'll change the height accordingly, yeah? So if I make this a bit smaller now, and I make it less wide. So you see what happens, the height will grow. Even though it's one long letter, there's no spaces, there's no enters in here. That's what kind of auto height will do. The more I add letters in, it will stay in that same width and just grow in height. The last one is fixed size. Fixed size is great if you have decided to use it. What usually happens is people don't decide that they want to use it, they just use it because they're using text boxes incorrectly. Let me show you what fixed size does. So if I click on fixed size, the width and the height are now both open. Figma is not in charge of anything, it's telling me you do this, this is yours, okay? But look what happens when I add some text. So T U V W X Y Z. I'm just going to add more here so you can see. So it looks fine, but notice what's happening here. The bounding box of the text box is staying small, but the text is longer than the actual text box. So you see this this whole row of text is living outside of the text box. This, you see, I'm I'm clicking on it. This is the text box. This isn't the text box. If I try and click here, it's going to I can't really get to it. Yeah. Now, sometimes this is great if you want to restrict your designs, you want to say, I, this is the space you have for text, you can't go outside of that, then you can do this, but someone needs to know that that's what you're doing. And the reason I say that people use this without knowing that they're using it is if you select the text tool at the top and then drag to create a text box, you have now created a fixed size text box. So that's what you've done. But if you select the text tool and just click and start writing, you will get an auto width text box, which is the default. Because in this one, Figma's in charge of everything. If you want a new line, you click on enter. Sometimes what you want is auto height because you want to control the width and then just let the height do its thing and you know wrap the text around. But fixed size is very rarely what you want. Usually people just do it and then you get these weird things where you can't reach some text. I can't reach the word box. No matter how many times I click, I can't reach it. Yeah, because it's not inside of the text box. You can reverse it. So if I select this now and I click on auto height, it will just make it big or if I select auto width it will make it one long line of line of text so you can reverse it but just be aware of what you're doing the last resizing mode we have is one that's kind of hidden away in the advanced type settings but it's actually really great it's pretty new to figma and it's called truncated text now if I select my text box from before I'm gonna leave those extra bits of text and I click on my three dots for the advanced settings and I go to truncated text truncated text is essentially a fixed size text box so you can see I can control the width and height from the top but what it does is if any text is outside of the text box boundaries it will just truncate it and we get an ellipsis which is dot 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 um, and instead of that okay to let us know that there's more text that you're not seeing now, this can be great when you're designing and you're copying text from all over and you just want it to just be pasted in but only show one line or two lines you could just use truncated text to allow you to do that um, so you see if I make this smaller then everything will just be truncated and if I make it long enough or tall enough for all of the text you just don't see those three dots but that is still the resizing mode okay so it's ready for if it gets more text it's just going to truncate it you have that here on your side as a reminder feel free to go to the exercise file and play around and see what happens but just remember if you want a text box click on the text box tool click and start writing do not i repeat do not drag Finally, I want to introduce you to some plugins that I think are quite essential for working with text and they're especially essential for working with dummy text. So I've clicked on T to get my text box tool and then I'm going to click, not drag, click and just write um, test text over here. So in order to use most of our dummy text 
um, plugins, you are going to need some text box in the space. To get to plugins, I'm going to use the resources tool, which is between text and hand on the tab bar. I'm going to go to plugin and then I'm going to search for the plugin that I want. Now I want a plugin called Lorem Ipsum. Lorem Ipsum is just some text in Latin. I don't even know if it's real Latin, but it's very commonly used with designers as dummy text. So if I click on this, and there's a lot of them that are called Lorem Ipsum, I personally like this one that is blue and has a little T inside of it. If I click on it and select Run, what it's going to give me is this little panel which allows me to select how much Lorem Ipsum I want. Now I can tell it exactly, I want two sentences or two characters, two words, two paragraphs, or I can let it auto-generate according to the text box that I'm selecting. The text box I have now only has space for like two words. Um, so I'm gonna say, give me two sentences. And that will just generate that dummy text for you. I'm gonna make this a bit less wide, so it's now on auto height. And yeah, and now I've just got this. So if you're making some, you know, designs and you don't need real text right now, you're just in the first step of the process and you just need some, some text in there to fill it up and you don't wanna just type up words, you can use Lorem Ipsum. Another one that I really like using is, um, it's called The Right Flavor. So I'm gonna click on resources again and I'm gonna write The Right flavor um i've just been recently introduced to this one it's quite cute it gives you dummy text but with some real stuff in it and you've got some um little subjects here let's say okay boomer and i just want a paragraph so you've got some stuff here you know some text it's usually a bit silly um and a kind of random subjects as well one more that i really 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 love content reel so content reel is this plugin over here. So if I select content reel and I go to text, you've got just a bunch of repositories of many different kinds of texts. And what's cool about this one is you can do it to multiple text boxes at the same time. So I'm just gonna select my text box and duplicate it. Um, and if I select all of these together, again, holding down command for deep selection, and I select, let's say, US full address. So you see, it just populates these text boxes with a full address. But yeah, it just populates them with anything I select, like date, company, job title, fake company names, numbers, yeah? So you've got an endless list of options on here. You've also got images, which is super cool, um, and you can use them for just populating you know, avatars, photos, logos, anything like that. Um, so I really recommend using this if you need just a bunch of dates instead of having to waste your time typing in a date. Just open Content Reel, tell it to find dates for you, and that's it. That concludes our session about text. We talked about how to just change the text properties and we learned about the different resizing modes and we finished off with some plugins. I hope you enjoyed, hope you followed along with your exercise file. See you again in the next session.